we acknowledged last week the great teachers who have <clears throat> throughout history precipitated such a reversal, such a revolution in consciousness. And as those great teachers communicated their message, there was a revolution in consciousness that nurtured each of the great wisdom traditions. It is important to grasp that each of these great teachers had to communicate the same message in a specific historical time and place, in a specific geography, in a specific cultural context, in a specific scientific worldview. And what we are to take from that is that cultures keep changing, scientific worldview keeps changing, everything keeps changing, and therefore the package that we employ to communicate that same timeless truth also has to change. Today, we live in a digitally enveloped global village. We see the world through a quantum scientific worldview. We participate in a constantly evolving contemporary culture. And we live in the space age at the dawn of a new millennium. This is a radical moment in the human journey like no other. And it is our moment. And in that moment, our highest task is to explore the poetry, the story, the myth, the art that will communicate that same timeless message to a new generation. We are in a very special moment in human history. We are leaving the age of translators. You say, what's the age of translators? What is a translator? Well, a translator is just like if you go to a foreign country and you don't know the language, you need a translator. And we are entering the age of practitioners. Because for so long, we have been dependent upon translators to help connect the dots between my real, everyday, actual life and this special language that was born in another cultural circumstance, in another time and place in history, in another scientific worldview. And I've got to have a translator to help me interpret and connect the dots. And there's always something lost in translation. And believe me, there are plenty of great teachers around today who are great translators. They write lots of books. They are present on, in nice buildings on a lot of street corners in this town and all over the world. But we are leaving that age behind. And we are entering an age of practitioners where, once again, the human family solitarily will have the opportunity to practice personally knowing the unknowable. 